guys. So today you're going to be working through something called circuit. Um, and I'm going to show you how this works. Uh, and let me read this first for you. Solve the first equation in the space provided. Circle your answer. Find your answer among the choices. And as you can see, each one of these boxes has an answer. This answer does not go with this problem. And that'll make sense in a minute. Put number two in the problem blank. Work that question and proceed until in this manner until finished. So let me show you how this works. So I need to solve this equation. In order to solve this equation, I know I need to get rid of my five first. This is being added, I'm going to subtract. Remember, whenever we're solving equations, we're using PEMDAS backwards, which means that we need to get rid of any addition and subtraction first, then multiplication and division. So on this side of the equal sign, I have addition right here, I wanna get rid of that first. So that's gone. I'm gonna bring down my negative 2x and then third, negative 31 minus 5 would give me a negative 36. My last step will be to divide by negative 2. That's where I'm at right there. I already have the editor subtracted. Now I need to multiply or divide, get that variable by itself. These cancel out, leaving me x equals and 36 divided by 2 is divided by negative 2, which is a positive 18. So now I'm looking for this answer. It just so happens to be right here below. So here's the number. I'm gonna write number two. Because I started number one, and since this was my answer, I can go to number two. All right, same situation. Trying to get this x by itself. I know it's attached to that negative one x, and I'm drawing that one. On this side, there is subtraction, so I'm going to add seven on both sides. That'll give me negative 25 equals negative one x. I know I need to divide next, divide by negative one, and x equals positive 25. I'm gonna circle that. Now I'm gonna have to move uh, the board or the paper around a little bit. I know you can see all the answers, but I can't. But I'm looking for 25 as an answer. Oh, and there it is right there. So I found 25, it's over here. So I know that this next problem is gonna be number three, right? Because that says x equals 25. Hope you're starting to get the hang of this. Okay, let's solve for x one more time. And then I'll probably let you uh, try the rest of this on your own. I might do a couple more with you. So the first thing I need to do on this side of the equal sign is to get rid of this negative three, so I'm gonna add three to both sides. I don't like to do just this on my own, as most of you know, so I'm going to use my calculator. And that is gonna give me 1.7, all right. So I'm gonna bring down 1.7x, the x is to something by multiplication, so I need to divide. I'm going to divide both sides by 1.7. I know that any time something is divided by itself, it equals one. All right, that was my third question. Oh, right up there, I see it. Answer equals number one. That's gonna be number four. Make sure you can see that on the video. Nope, that one's gonna be a rough one. I'm gonna bring that one down a little bit see it a little bit better. So again, we found our answer as number one. That makes this problem number four. All right, so the first thing here is you can do one of two things. You can distribute the half, which, is, which would be great, and most people might wanna do that. But for me, since this whole thing's being multiplied by one half, I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal, which is two over one on both sides just to get rid of that. Now I can just drop down my x plus three equals, and then negative seven times two would give me negative 14. If I subtract three on both sides, x should equal negative 17. So that'll be the next one I'm looking for. And I'll have to move around a little bit. And there it is equals negative 17. All right, 
So that was number four, so that makes this one number five. All right, so right now my x is being multiplied by four thirds. I can either multiply by the reciprocal, which would be three over four, and that's probably what I'm going to do. If you want to divide both sides by four thirds, that's also correct. So I'm gonna just multiply by three fourths. These are gonna cancel out. And eight times three over four, I think I know what this is. number six, the answer number six, and then that's going to be your sixth problem. Go ahead and work through the rest of this. Do your best. Any of the ones you're not sure what to do, or let's just say you get out of pattern, just do all the ones you can, and we'll check it tomorrow. Thanks so much.